Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. I've been loving discussing with you guys some of the things that you may be able to DIY on your level up journey at home and then that gives you the space and the time and the energy and sometimes the resources to then take what you've saved on the things that you've DIY'd at home to then go invest what you have saved into certain things that you can't DIY at home and you have to go see a professional for. Now with that, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about habits. So some of these habits you might need to get a professional to help you along with but some of them you're definitely going to be able to put into practice on your own with a little bit of discipline so let's get into the first point now i will say the very first point across the board that i have noticed with all elegant and classy women is they have boundaries when someone has boundaries that is going to allow them to understand how they present themselves that's going to allow them to understand how they want others to treat them and the list goes on and on and on now with that having boundaries with how you start your day I find a lot of elegant and classy women have a morning routine that sets them up for success now some people think that that starts off with making their bed and I think that's a great habit to have have you ever had that moment where you wake up on the wrong side of the bed I personally I'm getting into the habit of not checking my phone first thing in the morning and really getting immersed into what I need to do first and getting those things checked off the list before I'm letting the rest of the world come into my space and that is such a boundary I don't want to be knocked off of my disc my high-flying disc I don't want to be knocked out of my momentum and I find that when I let others into my workspace and into my mind and into my life before I was prepared to do so that does not promote a healthy experience for me in my day-to-day -day. so I have put a very firm boundary and that has also been one of the reasons of why I've enjoyed getting up early because often when you get up earlier than most of the people that are in the same time zone as you it allows you to have that freedom and have that space so having boundaries in whatever your Achilles heel is I'm gonna let you decide what that is I think is is the best place to start that might be making the bed for you that might be checking your social media that might be working out so be honest with yourself honor yourself to be honest with yourself and you and to where that Achilles heel is for you. Now the next daily habit that I've noticed all elegant and classy women have is they have impeccable hygiene and they really understand the importance of maintaining a polished and elegant and feminine appearance. Now I definitely have days where I can fall into bad habits but some of the ways that I have tried to put a boundary in place and tried to ensure that I don't slip into old habits as easily is is getting rid of clothes that aren't on brand for me getting rid of beauty products that aren't on brand for me setting my clothes out the night before or having a notepad of what I need to do all of these things will allow me to set myself up for success when it comes to my appearance that being said of course there is basic personal hygiene making sure your hair is fresh I think that is one of the most foolproof ways that people can look like a 10 honestly I think when someone has greasy unwashed hair it will make them look so trashy I don't know how else to say it so whether that means that you have to wash your hair every day so be it or maybe you're someone with thicker hair and you can get away with not washing it as much I do think that having great hair is going to help you look so hygienic now of course you're gonna want to make sure you have good skincare of course you're gonna want to make sure you brush your teeth that one's self-explanatory, but you would be surprised. All of these things are daily habits that every classy, every feminine, and every elegant woman knows. Now the next point that I want to talk about is taking care of the space that you are inhabiting. So if you're working from home like myself, that is making sure your desk area is clean. If you are working in an office space, that doesn't mean papers and just junk everywhere. I think that it's so important to keep a clean space and also using spaces as they were meant to be intended. I am somebody that I probably am more productive when I work from bed, but it's not very classy 
to work from bed is it so I picked up this little desk it was 50 pounds you guys it doesn't have to be very expensive it was 50 pounds for this desk and I have my coffee here I start my day here and I'm really trying to set that habit of being more productive and I feel like when I come in here I'm setting my brain up to understand when I'm in here I'm working and then when I'm in bed I'm doing things that belong in bed now one of my favorite sayings is when you fail to plan you plan to fail and I I think that this comes, comes into play in regards to all of your habits really whether that is with how you want to show up in the world with your personal brand whether that is how you want to make sure that you get to the gym how that is when it comes to your eating etc 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 I am somebody who has really cleared out my wardrobe and as I get sent quite a few things when it comes to brand collaborations I really have stopped accepting things that I know aren't on brand for me they might be on trend right now and they might even be like just a tiny tweak of a classic item but has been made a tiny bit more trendy like for example this year sweater vests and white shirts are so on trend however I don't think that they're going to be very timeless and so I find when my closet only has things that are on brand for me even if I don't plan my outfit out the night before it's just very easy for me to pull from equally I thrive off of to-do lists I have I use Trello it's a software management system and I have my days coordinated with what I need to do when I need to do it and then I work off of to-do lists on a day-to-day -day basis so those are really practical, tangible things. I don't care if you use Trello, but they're practical things that you can do that are is going to keep you very planned out. And when you are planned, well, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Now, I also find that planning out my activities allows me to understand, you know what, that I, with all the activities that I have this week, I might not be able to get my work done. So therefore, I need to make sure it's done by this date in order for me to be able to enjoy the activities that I'm doing. So really ensure that you are practicing the habit of planning. It takes a little bit more effort on the front end, but it allows you to enjoy your experience as you're going through it. and saves that stress on the back end. Now the next habit that I've noticed all classy and elegant women have is they are not only mannerly, usually their tardiness is on point, and they're thoughtful. I don't know what word encompasses those three things, but one of my friends, she just is on point with like making sure that there is a card at your door for your birthdays before your birthday. She is always on time with things and that is a form of manners and I absolutely love that. So I'm not somebody who can say that they are tardy all the time, but it is something that I know I have to put into practice and that I know that I have to achieve in order to hit the standard of excellence and class that I want to uphold and achieve. So I think part of a level up journey is having the honesty with yourself to see the areas of improvement that you need to make. Last but not least, one of the things that I have really noticed that most of the classy women that I look up to have is they all take a moment to slow down and whether that means that they are baking something whether that means they're painting something whether that means that they're reading whether that means that they're just oh my gosh like having a soak in the bath like they take a moment to slow down they take a moment of intentionality. I want you to picture this. If you saw a woman going through life with ease, or if you saw a woman rushing around, she was all panicked, she was all spastic, she's looking for this, she's looking for that, and she's just busy, she's busy. Is that elegant? Is that classy? It's not. And so I've really noticed that a lot of the women that I look at that are very feminine or elegant or classy, they have a certain pace to them. And I think that comes a part of the planning process. They're not in a rush for things because they've already thought and they're intentional about where they're going. The girl that's on the go with a bagel in her mouth, like that's not classy, is it? It's not very feminine, is it? Anyways, my friends, that is it for this video. Let me know what are some of the habits that you've noticed in really elegant and really feminine women. I would love to hear what they are. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video.